Kia ora, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. An employment law expert says the Kamal Sancta Maria saga should send a clear warning about the dangers of hiring friends. TVNZ head of news Paul Urich has resigned after a review found he did not reference Czech before hiring the former breakfast presenter. The pair had previously worked together at Al Jazeera. Employment law expert Max Whitehead says TVNZ has suffered huge reparation damage. This is one of the most foolish things I've seen somebody do and while Paul may have, may have had some confidence with his mate Carmel, um, why crikey has he come crashing down? Phil O'Sullivan will remain TVNZ's acting head of news and current affairs until a permanent replacement is chosen for the role. Vehicle importers have reversed their support for the government's clean car discount program. The Imported Motor Vehicle Industry Association says the program isn't appropriate for its supply dynamic and the government won't work together on a suitable scheme. It claims there are a multitude of design changes and failures it cannot support. The jib situation is improving, but the country's shortage of plasterboard isn't over yet. The task force set up to address the issue appears to be making progress. Twelve importers of plasterboard have 100 containers of product on their way to the country, including four new importers. Master Builders Chief Executive David Kelly says the task force is also looking at ways to remove regulatory barriers so other products can start to be used. Constant bus cancellations could be putting Auckland commuters off catching public transport. New figures show an average of 1,500 buses are now being cancelled around the region each weekday. Auckland Transport says it's 270 bus drivers short and about 10% of staff are away each day due to COVID and other winter illnesses. But John Reeves from the Public Transport Users Association says it's not a good look when public transport isn't available when people plan to take it. I personally have been affected and uh, had to wait an extra half an hour for buses, so it could deter people from using public transport. That's not what we want. A new study shows many Kiwis are facing financial hardship as inflation hits 7.3%. It reveals that one in four New Zealanders struggle to make ends meet at least once a month, while many have felt increasingly nervous about their financial security. Meanwhile, 14% of Kiwis have been unable to pay rent or bills and have borrowed money or taken out a loan. Charitable organisations say there's been an increase in demand for food parcel services and an influx in working class people seeking help. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.